What is it? That's an easy question. It's an octopus, of course. A soft-bodied animal which lives under the sea and has eight tentacles. You know, a cousin of the octopus has not eight, but around about 90 tentacles, and I'd like to introduce you to it. It's the Nautilus, and it lives inside a shell, and those 90-odd tentacles poke out the end and catch food. Well, that shell of the Nautilus is really one of the most beautiful shells you can find. Here's a Nautilus shell here. You notice that it's a creamy colour with sort of reddish-brown stripes. If you look inside it, there are even more colours. All the colours of a rainbow, in fact. It's called Mother of Pearl, that lining of the shell. Have a look at this, though. If I place the Nautilus shell in a dish of water, I can scoop water up with it. What happens if I fill it with water? Do you think it'll float or sink? Well, it should sink, shouldn't it? But it doesn't, it floats. If I push it to the bottom, it'll come up to the surface. Even if I take it in, into a big jug of water like this, a deep jug, fill it with water, push it to the bottom, it'll always come to the surface and it'll always come the same way around. Now that might suggest to you that it has something in the shell that's helping it to rise to the surface. Almost as if it has a chamber of air in this region here. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I took another Nautilus shell, and this one is pearly all over. And a little bit later on, Rob will be telling you how to change ordinary shells into pearly shells with a few simple things around the kitchen. But first of all, let me show you what I did to this shell. I took a hacksaw blade and very carefully, for 45 minutes, moved it backwards and forwards until I'd gone all the way through that Nautilus shell. And when I'd done that, look what I found. Not one chamber of air, but lots of chambers of airs, and a beautiful spiral pattern going all the way to the inside. In fact, when a Nautilus animal is growing, it's enlarging its shell all the time. If you had X-ray vision, and if you could see through this Nautilus shell right now, you would notice those little compartments are already there. And as this Nautilus shell grows, each time the animal itself lives in the outermost compartment. And every time it grows and forms a little barrier across it, the compartment is larger. By the time it's fully grown, it has about 30 of those little compartments forming that beautiful spiral. So that's a little bit about a cousin of the octopus, the Nautilus, with 90 tentacles.